Hey everyone, this is David Brown from Lyco Birds, and today let's do some bird ID quizzes. So I'm here on the Lyco Birds website. We'll go to Featured Resources, ID Quizzes, and these are daily quizzes that my brother Bobby has been making for over two years now. So we're talking more than 700 bird ID quizzes. And we have this handy feature here. Give me a random ID quiz from the archive. So let's go. Okay, let's do this. So this was taken in mid to late April in north central Pennsylvania, flying over an open area. To me, this looks very long winged, kind of like a flying cigar with sickle shaped wings. So I think this is a chimney swift. All right, let's do another one. So January in north central Pennsylvania, wooded area. So this looks like a really small bird. This looks like a kinglet to me. We don't see any stripe through the eye, but we do see a bit of an eye ring. I think this is a ruby crowned kinglet. Compact shape, tiny bill and general color pattern, put it in the kinglet family. Yep. All right, here's one from April in North Central Pennsylvania coming to a feeder. And this is a relatively easy one. This is a rose-breasted grosbeak. From May in the north central Pennsylvania deep woods, this bird has a bright orange throat, more of some yellow and black patterning on the face. So this looks like a warbler, and I think this is a Blackburnian warbler. Okay, next one. Okay, so here we have a bird, again, north central Pennsylvania, at the edge of a lake. So this is near water. And a couple of things stand out to me. It's got some striping on the breast. So maybe a sparrow, maybe not. The bill's kind of orangey, eye ring. White outer tail feathers. So this might be hard if you're not familiar with this species, but this is an American pipit. Okay, here's one from August, and ooh, this was a little bit tougher. You know, these fall warblers can be a little bit tricky. So um, what are we seeing here? We see a little bit of black on the underside, some strong white wing bars. Overall, the facial pattern is kind of a yellowish green. So I think this is just a, a rather dull, plumaged, black-throated green warbler. All right, I got it right. I was a little worried on that one. Okay, here's another one from August at the top of trees at a hawk watch. So this looks like a flycatcher to me and a couple things stand out. That's a pretty big bill on that bird. And the other thing that stands out is look at this dark vested appearance. Now some flycatchers like Eastern Wood Peewee show a little bit of a vest, but not this dark. So this is actually an olive sided flycatcher. All right, I got it right. Okay, from June in north central Pennsylvania in a residential area, so probably nesting. So here we have a raptor, which my specialty, right? But I can only identify them in flight, so I might struggle with this one. So this bird looks relatively dark on the breast, like a dark streaking. And the facial pattern overall looks like a falcon. So this looks like a, kind of a small dark falcon, making this a merlin. Moving on, this bird's from October in a pond. So here we have a duck, and it's a rather plain looking duck, but the first thing that stands out to me is kind of the, the silvery bill, it's kind of real speckled head, the overall shape. I don't know how to describe the real field marks of this, but this looks like a like an American widgeon in, uh, what time of year was this, October, so. Um, yeah, I, I, I forget with ducks, you know, is this uh, eclipse plumage? Probably not in October. It's probably a female. But anyway, it's an American widgeon. Okay, this one was taken in February. North Central Pennsylvania brush. So this looks like a sparrow to me. Pretty plain underneath. Maybe a little bit of streaking here at the side. Um, looks like the throat is white. And we got some yellow here between the eye and the bill. So 
I think this is a white-throated sparrow. All right. Here we have one from April in north central Pennsylvania at a lake. Okay, so this was uh, this would be the time of year that the swallows are starting to return to the lakes. But which swallow species is this? And if you need help with swallows, you can always check out our swallow ID guide. So overall, the colors of this bird, it looks brown, right? We can see the head is just kind of a, a dusky brown. You have some brown that extends on the sides here and maybe the upper breast. Now we have two different swallows that are brown, right? We have northern roughwing swallows and we have bank swallows. I think this is a northern roughwing swallow because this gr this brown is just kind of um, not very distinct. It's just kind of all over the place here. The bank swallow has a really distinctive plumage with a white throat and then a solid breast band and then white underneath. So this is a northern rough-winged swallow. Yeah, diffuse, yeah, diffuse, I can't say it, diffuse brownish wash on the underside. This was taken in December in brush and small trees. And the only lookalike for this is um, a species that's a lot less common. So I think this is a northern mockingbird. But the lookalike species that you sometimes have to be careful of in the winter would be northern shrike, which are uh, fairly rare in our area in the winter time. So this is a mockingbird. Here we have a bird from June in a residential area. Actually, this is very similar to that other photo we had, maybe even the same bird or from the same, same photo sequence. So again, this is a falcon, uh, although this photo shows us some more field marks. So we see that dark streaking, but we also see the tail pattern, a dark tail with these uh, white bands on it. That's a really good field mark for Merlin, especially when you're trying to compare it to our other falcon species. Okay, here's a photo from May in a park along a creek. And this is a warbler that is fairly uncommon in our area. Only a few spots that are known for them to nest. And this is a yellow-throated warbler. One of the warblers that actually has a good name. And last one. So this was taken in February, and it's a flyover. And... It's another raptor. So what do we see here? We see what appears to be a vulture. And we see that it's mostly dark. The head looks dark, but, you know, light can play tricks. We see that it doesn't look like it has a light trailing edge to the wing. We only see these white or silver feathers at the very wing tips. And we also see that the tail looks relatively short and uh, kind of straight across. So this is actually a black vulture. Now where I'm recording this video up in Rochester, New York, black vultures are quite the rarity. We only see uh, a handful during the hawkwatch season, but where this photo was taken back home in Lycoming County, PA, I'm, uh, black vultures are much more common. All right, that's enough bird quizzes for today, but if you'd like to try the bird quizzes yourself, I'll put a link in the description. And you can always find them and practice them at lycobirds.com. This is David Brown. Thanks for watching.